Hello guys, uh, good afternoon wherever you are. It's Noah Bitcoin on behalf of the eBitcoinist TV. And guess what? Today, Facebook has been playing so funny games with me and I don't understand. When I go live, I don't know if I am live, but you know, from the system you realize it's live, but I can't see anything. Or I don't know if I have a third party controlling my phone, which is impossible anyway. <laughs> anyway, so guys, it's three minutes daily and today we are going to continue with our series that has to do with um security bitcoin blockchain and security your wallet your crypto wallet and security you know and um since i think two days ago we we started talking about security how to and stuff like that and today i think we have to do a part three of our previous topic and i think this will be the final talk or brief on security hopefully god willing and um today what we are going to stretch much info about is um, something that has to do with how we choose our password whether it is um, an online wallet whether it is um, an offline wallet you know when you're using an offline wallet uh, when you want to transact your crypto coins or maybe a software wallet installed on your phone at some point they ask you to type a password before you transact so how you choose what sort of password you choose is equally important that's why i am going to elaborate further on the password structure because we've already discussed some of the things we need to consider when it comes to security on online now um for example if it is an online wallet which you are choosing your password you have to make sure the password you are using is a password which um, you normally do not use on all your other platforms. It should be a unique password and you should make sure you've not used that password on other websites. And also the length or the strength of the password should be very strong. What, what I mean by this is you have to um, make sure you combine alphabets, numbers, signs, any crazy stuff like something like maybe you combine a star you know and hyphen and then um caps small letters numbers just mix it with some crazy inputs that nobody would easily guess and the same apply to even the offline wallet the offline wallet when you want to choose a password your transactional password or your transaction password you have to make sure the password you are using or choosing is something very unique and it should be so unique in the sense that even aside its uniqueness it should um, it is a password you've never used in any other platform or system or anything that has to do with what you've been doing you understand because when you are very secure and when you have a secured input as a password it goes a very long way to protect you in some sense and all that and you have to be very sure that the password you've chosen is something you wouldn't want to share with anybody if it is your password make sure it remains your password and you are not going to share that password with anybody else any third party unless there is um, an, uh, an amount of trust between you and that other person you make sure you you trust or maybe you are even in charge of the same wallet something like a husband or her wife or maybe you're, you and your girlfriend or maybe you and your parent and then even if it's possible you should make sure you educate everyone to um, go solo when it comes to wallet and you know you teach them how to be independent and stuff like that which has to do with both of you your security and don't forget whenever you are choosing a password don't choose if for example your Facebook password is uh, maybe Nawaf your name or eBitcoin next you have to make sure your Yahoo password is something else and you have to make sure your Gmail password is something else you just have to make sure you use different versions of password and you mix it with some funny characters something that somebody will not easily guess and it's very important it's the same thing applies to all your crypto wallets whether you are using it online or offline and guys don't uh, don't forget um, to subscribe to our channel tv.ebcoinix.com follow us on twitter on facebook at ebcoinix and uh, share this video when you have suggestions or something you think we should talk about or something we've not discussed yet and you think we should do that don't forget to also leave your comment and i'll see you tomorrow god willing that was more than three minutes today because it is security and then i'll see you tomorrow god willing